Hey. You. Hi there. It's 4.19. Do you have a minute? Good. Then let's pack a bowl. Cause it's time for Cannabis Talk. A special 420 themed segment of the Almost Daily Zencast. Hosted by Spiritual Cannabis Mystic, the incorrigible Mr. Zappa. Let's get lit, folks. Greetings and salutations, friends. It's another episode of Cannabis Talk. Sunday afternoon to you this August 9th. If such a thing can be said in the middle of this chaos riddled year. Uh, as always, a brief moment to honor all those who are suffering worse than me, maybe. And, uh, yeah, welcome to the show. Unplanned, unscheduled, didn't think I was going to do one today. Just felt pushed off the cliff, as it were. Like that meme, which I think I already described to you in a recent episode. I'm only imagining it, then you are very confused, but that's okay. It all lines up eventually once you listen to it. So... Before we launch into any further shenanigans, I thought, oh, it's plain, but it's not hard. I'm talking through it. I did not mean to be talking through that. Hold on a second. Can I start it over? No. Yes, I can. All right, friends. Because I screwed up and I talked through that song when I thought I had relieved the thing, let me, um, let me start it up again. Let you just enjoy listening to that. I meant to, like, talk for a minute and then hit play, but I forgot that I'd put auto DJ on when I walked away to go do something and I meant to have clicked it off, and I totally didn't. And now, I don't know if it's redundant of me or stupid of me, but I'm going to start it over again because I realized I was talking right through that shit like an idiot.
worry, folks. To the best of my ability to discern, I do not have the Rona. Oh my god, forgive me, that must have been so loud. I miscalculated, and my eyes are a little tear faced Teary bleary. Uh, but that's the good old fashioned cough of some uh, delightful cannabis infusion into my system. Something that uh, I'm quite familiar with and that feels, for all it, uh, its extemporaneous, um, maybe misleading indicators, delightful. And does not at all feel like I'm coming down with the flu. So, what a lovely Sunday afternoon. Um, I already read to you from one of my books that I find... It's not my book, right? It's a book that I own that uh, I find not just beautiful and well-written, but meaningful and applicable in terms of all the silly ways we could be not wasting our time, right? If we just all got on board with understanding the some of the many splendid things that book highlights for our further understanding. And I was raring to go to maybe jump on doing an extra session or two uh, but I don't want to burn anybody out because I could just ramble for days. If I have a, an actual person, human being, friend, it actually is 418 now. I should have hit play right now to the, I won't make you listen to the, I almost did, the Joker in me. <laughs> the prankster was like, push play again on the cannabis talk intro. Wait, did I do just that just now? Well, folks, that bowl is kind. Oh, that's the outro. Damn it, I screwed up. Where's the intro? There's the intro. It's too late now. It won't line up, will it? You. Hi there. It's 4.19. Do you have a minute? Literally this time, because we're on time. Good. Then let's pack a bowl. Okay. You get it. You either hated that I just did that, or you thought it was funny. One of the two. Who knows? Welcome back to the show. I'm staring at these two other books that I might have maybe have jumped into reading under the other show's uh, banner, the unauthorized and explicit readings. Because I've not done one of those segments in a really long time. And I honestly only ever do them when the spirit moves me, when my hands just like grab for the book and the book just flops open and I'm like, these words right here, these are beautiful and hilarious and weird. I must t talk about them and share them and... and uh, let the sprinkling of the words flitter, flatter throughout time and space in the continuum that is the interwebs. <clears throat> but um, reality set in and I realized I needed to just chill. But these are two really great books. If you don't know what I'm talking about, because you've only just recently joined the show. Welcome. Welcome, dear audience. It is a collective. It is meant to be sort of like an ongoing journey through time and space together uh, as radio entertainment. Thanks for participating. But uh, I have a short list of books that I would carry forward into the future, which I talk about on a segment called Unauthorized and Explicit Readings, which has a delightful... Uh, uh, disclaimer built into its own intro. And happy 420, everybody. I, I totally missed it. It's 421. Damn. I think it, some people think it's bad luck to say happy 420 at 421 like you missed it. But at least I nailed 419 this time because I was late. I was early. 
I was late before and I was early today. Doesn't matter. No one cares. No one's like, what, are you, what is he lathering about? Uh, you might be wondering why I would feel the need to preach from books of the past in some imaginary post-apocalyptic future. Uh, but, and what does that have to do with weed? <laughs> I would also preach quite literally if I could, um, if it, if, I hope it doesn't happen this way. I hope reality is that we learn our lesson before the apocalypse, before our own self-destruction, which is what the apocalypse ultimately might be, right? <clears throat> uh, but uh, if I had to write a story at gunpoint about crazy cuckoo new age nut job cannabis growing hippie survivor preppy not preppy like they were preppy but prepperists preparationists whatever you call the preppers when you conjugate prepper as in like they are preparing uh but I digress. I don't. I don't have that actually happening in my real life. By the way, it's a it's a flight of fancy, as it were, for which I will sometimes write short stories about people who live that, some imagined version of that, for your uh, reading of comic book like light. Not really because I don't draw, but uh, that's the image, the vision. Um. And those are, of course, separate from the books that I'm talking about with, on my short list of, like, I would evangelize with these books. Uh, the three books, if I had to pick only three books, The Way of Zen by Ellen Watts, The Law of Light by Lars Moll, and A History of God by Karen Armstrong. And I read those out of order, technically. And I should give you context. Even though this isn't that show, I'll talk about it anyways, because it's 424. And I can talk about whatever I want, because it's my show. Welcome to the madness of the future. Um, the bookshelf that I have is a weird assemblage of books, some of which I elevate and acknowledge as to being sort of like important spiritually. And, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm an omist, right? think or a what's that other funny label someone came up for it i forget what it is now there's another word for uh all of us collectivists if i may coin my own who think that no single religion has the absolute truth but all religions have various kernels of many of the truths and if we discern instead of judge and we assemble instead of destroy <clears throat> we might understand something that the ancient traditions were trying to preserve that we shouldn't radically neglect. That that's might be really weird and simple. Um, like, you know, breathe deeply, meditate, and eat healthy, etc. And or whatever other types of things. Um, if I could list more than three books... If I can include all the books on my bookshelf, then great. That that would that would be so. Um, but there's a really weird collection of books on my bookshelf. I'm tempted to include this omnibus edition of um, collection in sort of the fulfillment of is it Thoreau? I'm totally off the top of my head trying to remember from the last time I. I really sat down and read this book, but it's called God's Breath, and it's a straightforward collection of m most people's spiritual books, right? Like a little bit of the gospel, a little bit of the Tibetan Book of the Bo Dead, and uh, what is else in there? Uh, the, the Bhagavad Gita is in there, which I also have in another, I have it sitting there on its own. Uh, the Dancing Woolly Masters, has to be on that list because it takes it to the like, hey, let's not forget about science because duh, let's not be dumb. 
we should, could, would, and have yet successfully really tried, in my humble opinion, to make a true and genuine, authentic spirit science. No offense to the people who use that phrase commercially, because there is a group. And uh, while I've seen some, I have not seen all, and I don't know the whole depth of their situation. So I can only just respectfully say sorry. I don't mean to co-opt your, your phrase, um, spirit science people. But we should, <clears throat> it is my humble opinion, after smoking many, many bowls of weed with other people under safe conditions, respectful to whatever things and boundaries I'm supposed to respect, etc. After being really candid with folks and gathering lots of input, uh, I am of the cuckoo, crazy, nut job, new age, insane, hippy dippy uh, inclination to propose to you that we should, A, as we radically reform other corrupt branches of our multifaceted set of um, infrastructure, uh, societal constructs, and, uh, you know, other things. Um, that are kind of messed up and not working in the world. We can, could, should, would establish for ourselves, for the sake of investigation and, and determination, a sort of spiritual uh, sciences branch of investigating all those ancient, mystic, new age, nut job things but that makes the most sense because there are some that actually really effing do right like duh like, there must be something to some of this stuff or else why would peoples have you know kept a tradition of preserving the understanding or the wisdom of some practice or others uh, that that facilitate the the expansive awareness of, or the healing of, or the etc. Um, and maybe that's too gracious of a view to take. I know that there are many a cynic out there that just throws any and all, quote unquote, very dismissively, I think, magical thinking and just throws everything right out the window. And we can spiral out of control in a sort of us versus them. Um, multi-dimensional polemic there of where do you draw the line between uh, things you can consider real and true and actual and as I like to call it organic to the experience of being alive here in whatever this place is and what things are beyond the boundary of that truth. And while plausible, not real. While imaginable, not actual. And what things are actual but not seen or understood or comprehended or acknowledged uh, or recognized or remembered. What things have we neglected? Oh, brothers and sisters of mine. Um, and what things do we need to get right with? And what things do we need to really focus our minute by minute, now by now, focus and attention? If it is all a slippery slope dance of the illusionary, vibratory field imaginings slash musings slash dreamings of a god and goddess uh, dichotomy like progenitors and also sort of experiencers of self in all of its reflexive levels of ideation and we are just consequences of that and we are just little itty bitty uh, self oriented, self-aware, self-conscious, self-righteous, um, true believers in whatever it is we true believe, what I, regardless of how close to the truth is, um, little shingles of 
a greater phenomena than ourselves. <clears throat> and we had the time to, and the ability to, rant and rave and rage and argue with each other and organize each other's destruction or our own self-destruction vis-a-vis our ideations and our preoccupations of the mind uh, when we could be doing other things much more resplendently simple and beautiful and organic and of a higher order calling but so so over there in that corner of the realm of possibility that it seems a little foreign question mark question mark question mark Too much to ask? Too much to talk about? I don't know, but that's what this show is like. And because I left it there at a beautiful place that's just delightful. I don't know. Do I have more music I can pull up real quick? There might be something I can... I may have already played this on the show, and if I have, forgive me. But uh, I thought I'd play this for you now. Regardless... Electro strings dynamic um, to play us off the show to keep this episode nice and tight. As always, friends, thanks for tuning in and listening to me ramble. I'm going to close it out with this song because the last couple episodes were dreadful long. And today, it's right now, it's 4 3 3. And uh, it's just long enough to make it worth it. Thanks. Namaste. May peace, love, and grooviness and healing blossom inside of you. Tune in for more because I'm trying to make this an almost daily ritual of doing one, two, or three uh, rambly tune recordings for you, which might eventually all become some giant anime, homemade animated series for your delightful visual consumption with added material plus laugh tracks. Uh, and your collaboration if you're down and safe and sane and worthy of collaborating with. So uh, stay tuned for more. Tell your friends. Don't violate my Eula. Don't violate your Eula. Have you read your Eula? I don't know. I'll leave you with that deep philosophical question. Have you read all your Eulas? Do you even know what a Eula is? E U L A. They've all got them. If you haven't read them, you don't know what you don't know about what you're already doing and and saying and using. And that's some comedy gold right there for you uh, once you really connect the dots. But anyways, here's Electro Strings Dynamic, DJ Zed. Thank you.
Namaste. Peace out, friends. Thanks for tuning in. I am curious, so I'm going to throw a question out before I sign off the air here. And that's, would you prefer future episodes to be 30 minutes or less? 30 minutes or occasionally a little bit longer, like getting upwards of 45, 60 something minutes, you know, almost an hour and a little chunk or even longer. Do you want a two and a half hour full on crazy episode that's scripted with like effects and theater of the mind, special um, voodoo magic um, or uh, or like just punchy, quick 33 minute long doodle dads with some of this goofy music that isn't really even music. Is it music? What do you call this? Loop de loop delightfulness of app made sounds. Um, what was the question?